Hey there everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about a security theme. So basically you build a website, you build a really good looking website or I should say you build a very good looking e-commerce store uh, with the help of WordPress but you don't know how to increase the protection and security of the WordPress website, right? Because nowadays there are a lot of uh, malwares or we should say like uh, uh, hackers out there which will try to uh, take down your site intentionally right there are a lot of competitors out there right so with the help of some certain plugins you can increase the extra security of your wordpress website right so itheme is itheme security is one of the best security plugin out there let me show you first of all we will see the uh, free version of this particular plugin and i'll tell you the more details about the uh, premium version as you can see we are on their official website if you scroll down, you will get to know all about the premium function, right? First of all, let's install the uh, free theme, a uh, free plugin. Uh, for, you have to come to your site. This is my basic uh, basic website. I just need to log into a web, uh, our website, WP Admin, and uh, we will be redirected to our dashboard. And to install the plugin, you just have to hover to the uh, 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 plugin section. And under the plugin section, you have to click on Add New. And here, you have to type iTheme, iTheme security, if I'm not wrong, iTheme security, yeah. As you can see, if you type iTheme, and this will also pop up on the first place, iTheme security, iTheme security is number one security plugin. As you can see, this has been provided by iTheme officially. You need to install this and activate this on your WordPress website, okay? So once you have activated this, uh, this you will see this security uh, thing on the left hand side, right? So if you hover there, you can uh, change the settings. Basically, you will see a lot of things and some of these things has been provided in the pro module. Also, we will try to install the pro pro version as well. Okay. So as you can see, free model also allows you a lot of benefits. Let me show you. If you go to the advanced section, you can uh, literally change a lot of things. Like right? you can hide the backend. So with the help of this particular setting, you can hide the backend link. Uh, you can change it to uh, right now if you want to log into your backend you have to type like WP admin right but because at it is default provided by every WordPress installation so if you want to log into another website you can type WP admin and it will be redirected to their login page but sometime you need to hide your login page so that uh, other user can't see your login page so you can always type it admin admin and your login page will be uh, changed right so you can uh, literally change your login link so right now if you use this link to login then then and only you will be able to log in and if you type wp admin that link will redirect you towards a 404 page right and like if me let me show you if you type login this won't work right this will show you the error so that's that's about that particular setting if i show you more settings advanced version admin user and uh, there is the wp uh, config.php rules like this is one of the most important file of your theme because if this file has been deleted from your particular theme then the whole website will be crashed right so you need to always save this file so apart from that you can always uh, admin user you can always set some rules to admin user that uh, multiple logins will be blocked right so we will see uh, how we can enable these uh, functionalities like magic link and malware scans let me show you if you hover over to the official website you can always uh, read the whole documentation what these guys provide you and what are the benefits of getting the premium version uh, if i'm not wrong there must be premium version benefits by now yeah as you can see the uh, yearly brand will cost you around 200 dollars and for small businesses for 10 website it will cost you 127 and for blogger I, I would suggest you if you have budget you can always go for the gold plan right so let me install this particular plugin i theme a uh, pro version if, to install that you need to come to your plugin section add new and i will upload that file click on upload select the file it must be here somewhere i theme pro install so once it is installed, I will show you that every functionality will be unlocked as you see here that everything was locked. It was requiring the pro plugin, right? So let's wait for it. If I'm not wrong, it should be activated within a couple of seconds. I don't know why this is taking that much of time, but as you can see, it has been uploaded successfully. Now we have to just activate it. Click on activate. 
okay once it is activated as you can see uh, i think pro security has been activated and it is officially provided by i theme also so you don't need to worry about it so here you go to the pro section and you will see that uh, no it is redirecting to the official website let us come back and see that what are the settings now we have settings and if you scroll down you can see that oh 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 there is some kind of error so as you can see that was showing uh, error because we need to uh, deactivate one of this uh, plugin because we cannot handle both the iTheme security on the same website as you can see multiple version of iTheme has been active we need to deactivate the previous uh, without pro version right and then we can see the uh, settings has been extended you need to go to the settings section and if you scroll down you will see that all the functionalities of the pro version has been activated right so let me show you if you want to add the recapture setting on your website you can enable it i would suggest you to enable that and password less login you can also enable this for more previous setting okay that has been enabled successfully and system tweaks you can also enable this because with the help of this setting you will be able to get some advanced setting that will improve your uh, security okay that is also good and you need to enable this as well because it will help you to configure ssl and there are a lot of settings which you can literally read here and get a brief tutorial from their website right so that was a short quick video about i think security i hope you really like this video if you did just give it a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one